<laughs> live streaming. All right, we are live. Hello, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek here. This video is sponsored by Miniature Market, where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices. Today, I am joined by a host of friends. Greg Dixon from the podcast Hooked on Geek. Glory Hound from Glory Hound Online. And uh, Alex Black, I was just walking down the street. <laughs> the podcast, so he I looks cold and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so it, these are my friends who come over almost weekly and play games with me. And I've been wanting to do more and more videos with them, but I'm just typically so busy that I don't have time to do it. So we tried to put this, this together kind of sort of last minute, but we thought it'd be fun since we're all getting together tonight. And with Black Friday coming up... Um, you know, I, I saw the email come through from Miniature Market about the Black Market sale. Uh, the Black Market. The Black <laughs> Friday sale. Black uh, Market board well, games. What? What's going on here? <laughs> the, Where's the, my kidney? <laughs> that's a good theme kidney, for a game. Kidney for board games. Uh, uh, Plat, <laughs> Plat, Hat, Plat Hat will do that. Yeah. He'll follow up the, uh, that's the, right. the Abomination Abomination game. 2. Yeah. So Soaking looking, in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at the, uh, the Black Friday sales, and I remembered that... Miniature Market has this really cool thing on their website. When you go to their website, they have their Black Friday sale here, but they also have this thing over here that says Black Friday sale browse sale list. And when you open that up, it actually brings up like a straight spreadsheet of all of the things that are for sale. Nice. And uh, I always thought that was cool because I don't want to go through like a hundred pages of stuff. Like I've always just wanted to like look yeah. at it really quickly and you can sort it you can you know do all sorts of things so i was looking through this the other day and i was like well this would be kind of fun to just like walk through it and see what's cool and what's not and kind of like point out some interesting things that that might you might want to buy i have a bad feeling i would be like broke, all the good but stuff, yeah. i would be broke by the end of the stream <laughs> hold on wait that's for that price <laughs> we're all taking notes as we're going along. <laughs> but, but here's the Here's the here's the problem with this on our side is we're gonna point out some cool things. So here's here's the deal. I did not tell these folks what we were really doing tonight. They kind of knew because they saw my tweets earlier today probably, but they don't know they didn't know exactly what we were doing because I wanted this to be very organic and I wanted them to be able to just like look at stuff and be excited about it on, on like right online streaming. The problem for us is we're gonna point out cool stuff that you guys are gonna get and then. You guys are going to buy it while we're streaming, and then it's going to be sold out, and they'll go buy it, like, afterwards, and they won't be able to. They that would be terrible. Uh, your, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> your viewers can sell it to us at a slight markup. <laughs> That's not good. That's not what I want. <laughs> so we're just going to get started. Just uh, We'll leave this up here so you can see both us and the browser up. So I'm going to bring this up so we can see it. So on the spreadsheet, it's pretty cool. It's just got the name, the retail price, the sale price, the amount of discount. Uh, so we'll just go through this. So as we look at these, all right, so. Right away I'm seeing tons of stuff that's over 50% off. Yeah. Like no. well over 50% off. Super in your price range, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> right. She's getting great. So, so when I was going through this, I went through it very briefly today. I don't. I maybe went through like the first couple of letters to see how it worked. Uh, but there's a game here that a lot of people don't know about because it only came out in Europe for a while. Uh, it was called A Tale of Pirates. And this is a game that actually Alex and I played a yeah. long time back. It used to be like a, a black box. This is a real-time cooperative game. Oh, cool. And you're pirate. It's a scenario, quick scenario based. Each scenario takes like 15 minutes. Oh, that's And nice. you are flipping sand timers and putting them in different parts of the ship. And you can't move that until it's done. And uh -huh. the action doesn't happen until sand's done. So you're planning your actions. You're waiting for the sand to drop. And but your brain goes, you forget where you put the timer, then yeah. you forget what you're trying to do. You're trying to turn the ship. You're trying to flip on a card. You're trying to shoot stuff. Oh. Do you remember this? Yeah, I was. Uh, so I I vaguely recall recall all the rules, but I do recall seeing it on this on the table, and it has good table presence. It's yeah. It's got the boat that sticks up, and then it's got the mast. Um, and there's it looks fairly simple, but there's a lot going on once the time starts going. And uh, I personally, I thought that it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's something that I think I would play with older kids. I don't know if I would play with younger ones. It does have the, it does look like a game that you could play with little kids, but because of how fast it moves, I'd probably avoid if you're looking for a game that's for younger ones, but with older kids, blast. I think yeah. this would get one would really Real time's tough with, old, with kids. You don't yeah. want, if when you're playing a real time game, you want to be like, get out of here, kid, give me that sand <laughs> yeah, timer. Yes. <laughs> That's how every real time game goes. So yeah, you don't want to play with tiny little kids I don't got like time that. for your crying right, right now. Get out of here. <laughs> 
Then the game has an app as I'm as, as I'm showing here that, that kind of like runs the game. Uh, it, it's oh, it's a fun. Kind of sounds like time and space with the. It is very time, time and space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Stronghold came out with a long time. But yeah, you can see yeah. you can put the little. That's cool. And it's fun. If you play with two players, you each have two timers, and it's super brain burnery then. Well, and for thirty five bucks. Thir- like, yeah, thirty two yeah. bucks. Thirty two dollars, and it's a big box game. It's got like twelve scenarios. Yeah. So the first thing I noticed was that one. That's awesome. Yes, and I, yeah, still, have, I, I re- still have that, by the way, I think. I did not let it go in the last uh, little... I'm going to be the, taking notes on all these now. <laughs> like they're already out of the gate. I'm like, oh, that does sound like we rewatching the Hold stream on. later. Yeah. <laughs> Altaplana, that's a big uh, crunchy Euro hit oh, wow. that a lot of people have been excited about. Was it, that one? That one's for thirty nine. Forty percent off. 30 yeah. Bucks. Oh we my should, gosh. We should yeah. And they got they got some of stock. Some of the ones I was looking at earlier, they were really close to selling out. So we got to look at how many are in stock too. But yeah, Altaplano, I don't know. It's what sort of like Orleans, but a little. A little yeah, different. yeah. It's yeah. kind of like the successor to Orleans. If you like that one, you like the other. Yep. Among the stars, nice, nice uh, little drafting game. Among the stars. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got on here? So, Tons of Android Netrunner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Anchors Away, I I haven't played it, but I have it. I heard it's like a family version of Galaxy Trucker. Oh, really? Oh, really? Like a pirate-themed, more family-friendly version Watch of this. Watch your pirate ship fall apart yeah. instead of your spaceship. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't played this one, but it's 25 bucks. I mean, you can that's, go down with the that's ship. not bad. <laughs> Who's the publisher on that one? That was... Oh, I forget. Let's see. Z-Man. Z- oh, okay. That's right. It's been out for a little while. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, Android Netrunner stuff there. We'll flip by that. There's a lot of that. Which, didn't the Android Ooh. Netrunner go out of print or something? I think because right? they replaced it, sort of. They there's a lot of... Hot, right, um, so if you want to pick up, like, the last-minute sets and stuff like that, yeah. that'd probably be a good time to get those, yep. you know? Yep. So, oh, oh here. this was... So, Atlas Enchanted Lands, five... Dollars. Let's see if they. I don't even know what this is. So this. So J. Alex Cavern. Oh. And it's also uh, Brett, Beth Sobel art, I think. Yes. I've seen, I saw oh. this one online. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, five bucks. I mean, this uh, this was not my favorite Alex Cavern game, but it was a small game. It was it was ha- had some interesting uh, uh, sort of spatial things you're trying to do. Okay. And 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 a lot of forward planning and again it wasn't my favorite game of his but it was a small game for five bucks so well, like, stocking gosh. stuffer action yes say that. <laughs> this is a really that, good yeah. stocking stuffer the art's nice um and it's very puzzly as alex Cavern's games uh, tend to are. be so yeah if you if, if you've if you like any of his games, that's like a no-brainer for five bucks for sure. Battle Lore Second Edition at sixty-six percent off. So that's like the fantasy version of Memoir Forty Four. Mm-hmm. So if you like that sort of head-to-head combat back and forth, but you want to replace, oh my gosh. you want to replace. It's a giant box. You want to replace your like tanks with dragons and stuff. <laughs> like this is the one for you. My wife and I played this a handful of times and, and enjoyed it. It's a good one. And it kind of has like a, a hidden setup ahead of time. Almost think of like the old school like Stratego, where you like set things up ahead of time and then kind of reveal. And some of them are decoys, and some of them are actual placements of units and stuff. So that's kind of a cool uh, a wrinkle on that theme as well. I have not played. Have you guys played this? I have not played that one either. But I mean, I'm all about like it's cool. The medieval sort yeah. of setting and games and stuff. So that sounds like a lot of fun. And for twenty seven bucks, like, twenty seven. Wow. I mean, this is a giant I mean, full size box. You know, I, I yeah yeah. Wow. All right. These My deals, wallet is going to be these super deals dry. are crazy. Oh, there's <laughs> Bosk. Yes, I saw Bosk that. is Bosk. brand new and it's already it forty three percent off. Yeah. I, I mean, that's really cool wrinkle on area control. Yeah, Bosk 20? was one of my. It's like one of the most beautiful bucks. games wow. to look at. Yeah, great sure. table presence. It. Well, and it has that area control in it, and then those two different setups. What, yeah. When you're playing, like it's almost like you're playing two different games in it. You know, you're p- trying to play this game where you're placing right. the trees. To so get set points. yourself up for the second half. Well, to get your points, you know, horizontally and vertically, and yeah. then the whole other part of the game is area control with your leaves and stuff like that and throwing yeah. them out there. So, like, that's such an interesting game, and it's so strategic. You know, whenever you're placing your stuff out there. And, you know, like we said, table presence and stuff. Like that one has table presence. It looks gorgeous on the table. I'm kind you know? of sad that I already picked All this one up. Trees. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Feel the same way about Battle Lord, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and that is brand new. Didn't that just come out this yeah, year? Yeah, Boss came yeah. out this year. Yeah, that's brand new. Um, oh my god, that's a really good deal for Boss because it has tons of great components. Yeah, that whole the area little control. tiny squirrels, like squirrel meeples. What are those? Squeeples. <laughs> squeeples. <laughs> I love it. Squeeples. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Squeeples. It's also the noise they make when you step on them. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> you 
Yeah, Bosk is really good for twenty five bucks. That's yeah. a really good deal. Well, it's brand new too. It's not like so, yeah. you know. Sometimes with these sales, you're like, oh, is this all stuff from eight years ago? But mm -hmm. there's great. There's a lot of newer uh, stuff in here. Great looking area control game. What Let's else we what got? Else? What else we got? Citrus. Ah, yeah, wow. citrus. Maybe where is that one? Oh yeah, you taught me that one. That was a, that's a, little a slick little down, game. But yeah, that's oh, okay, citrus. Yeah. Oh, so go ahead, Alex. Talk about citrus. So. The game, it's, I admit, it's been a while, but I recall that it left a very good, lasting impression on me. It's, uh, I would say it's a Euro, right? Uh, but it is, it's solid. The strategy is fairly simple, uh, but there's a lot of thinking involved. I wouldn't say that it's a, uh, it's a game that suffers from analysis paralysis. Uh, but it is definitely a well thought out, well designed game. Kind of so a quick, to, quick to learn, as I recall. Yeah. But then, as you're playing, you realize there's a little more depth there than you expect. Absolutely. Because and you picked up on it fast, but then you're like, wait, wait, how am I doing this again? And you're. And if I recall, the uh, Citrus was out of print for a while, so it was very hard. It to get was. Hold of, it so. was out of print for a long time. Oh, and, that's a beautiful and, looking game. Yeah, miniature market. Uh, miniature. Market, TMG <laughs> brought it back. Uh, Tasty Mistro brought it back, and just recently. And yeah, I played this. It, it works well. It has two sides of the board: a fast side and like a small side. I still like. I still think the smaller side's better. I think the game's a little too long on the longer side for what it is. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a good little Euro game where you're trying to. It's like area control, but it's tight on money, and you, you got to you know, take guys off at the right time to get money. You got to figure out what do I want to score, which ones do I want to make money off of. I know you weren't as hot on this one as I was, but no, I, I liked it. It was one of those games where I was like, okay, I need to play this again. Before I really know how I feel about it, but I I was impressed with the first play enough that but what is I'd, I'd want to try again? it again. Twenty eight fifty. Twenty eight fifty. Okay. It's sitting right down there. I like the uh, art in it and stuff. That looks really pretty. I've kept an eye on that game. That's Have that's you? significantly yeah. lower than I've seen it okay. before. So okay, you're gonna be like, I need to go to the restroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> excuse me for being <laughs> there buying games. Uh, I'll now, be back. I I really love the new version of Camel yes. Up, but if you happen to have the old version of Camel Up, the expansion's only seven bucks. Wow. Wow, oh that's gosh. crazy. Regular do, you guys have, do you guys have the old? I have the old you, version, yeah. But you, I think yeah. I have the expansion, too. Oh, do you already have it? Yeah, yeah. But seven bucks. That's a crazy that's deal. Nice. It's a great like, family game, too. And this is actually like a pretty good one for the holidays. Because mm -hmm. it plays like a big group. It's easy to learn. Everyone likes betting on camels, it's right? It's easy of course. to teach non-gamers. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You know. Yeah, it's a gateway game. For the holidays. That's yeah. right, that's right. <laughs> Let's see. Where'd we end what up on? we got here, down here? I'm going to come down here a little bit. These percentages, these are crazy of discounts. Four. Oh, no kidding! Council of Four is on here. Bucks. That is one of oh my, my gosh, favorite I'm going board home games. and getting that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> wow. Council of Four, the new version. I played this, this literally like two days ago. Bucks. Yeah. This is such a good game. It is. Oh it's one of my gosh. most played board games too. And yeah. you know, I know that some of the people like the other version better because it's a little bit more like drawn down with like the pieces and stuff like that. But I love. The Come On Games one, oh, where they, they you totally know you have all the little out. people and stuff in there. Like it looks, the art in it's a little bit more vibrant. Like it doesn't look like a dry Euro-y sort of game, yeah. mm -hmm. which it's not a dry Euro. It's still a Euro, but I don't feel like it's super dry or anything. But it does add flair to the game that I think a lot of gamers like having, especially like American yeah. Trashers and stuff. You know, sure. like. I would much, much rather have this flare looking copy. No, no, they made it, they made it really <laughs> than pretty. Than the other one for the myself. The only thing's missing is the cool balconies, but I mean, they right. make up yeah. for it with all these cool minis. Right. And, and yeah, it's a cool game. And it's a, a Simone, what's his name? Luciani. Luciani. So it's like uh, Zulkin, and like he's known for like Tia Tawakin and stuff. And so mm. if you played some of those other ones and you missed this one, because you might have seen this and thought, Oh, this is Simon or Come On, whatever they want to be called these days, um, uh, and not realize that it's like a euro, you know? It, right. Because you might think it's like miniatures fighting on a board or oh, something. Oh, that's very yeah. true. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's. I literally played this like two days ago. I love this game. So good. We pull it out all the time oh my with gosh. two players. It's like forty-five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and it does play very well with two players actually. Yeah. That was very really impressive. And the thing about that game is all it's all all combos. You set yeah. yourself up early, and by the end, you do like one move and triggering ten different things, and it's so satisfying by the end of the game. So yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, no, that that one is awesome. Uh, I just saw this, Colony. This was one of the busy games. I haven't ever played oh, this yeah. one. So this is kind of like a... It, it's got a lot of replayability. You can mm -hmm. mix and match a lot of different decks. It's not really a deck builder, but it kind of feels a little bit like it, and you're doing certain huh. things with dice, and you're placing dice to activate things. Um, but, I mean, for $26, this... Uh, Another that, big that's, box game. Yeah, now that one... I mean, again, it was it's a few years old, but um, not bad. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Yeah, let me bring up some of the art on this one. Uh, 
I didn't think it was that old. I just remember like seeing it like I felt like a, <laughs> last year or something. <laughs> the I'm years like, oh, wait, go never by mind. fast. Really. Never mind, 2016. Just kidding. <laughs> and then we played a game. We played a game called Tobago the other day, and I was like, "This was a few years old, right?" I look up, it's 2009. I was yeah. like, like, "Okay, Ooh. where did 10 years go?" Because Serious. I remember when this was new. <laughs> now Tobago's great. It's uh, is that, it Die Hard new too? Yeah, Die Hard. Oh, they have that see. on here. Yeah, it's uh, in yellow, wasn't it? Yeah, Die Hard. Is that, is, uh, is that the brand, regular brand new, one? Right? Unless there's some other. Yeah, version. that's oh, brand this new. Is brand new. And that one, I don't know if you guys... Have oh, there's, only one, there's oh. only one left. Don't say it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They're going to go on their phones right now. I haven't played this a bit. I love the theme, the obviously. The game board of this is so cool, guys, because you start on this little tiny map, and you you know, you know run through, and you're fighting all these bad guys and stuff. It's a one versus many game. And then in the second scenario, the game board opens up and gets bigger. And then oh. that's your second scenario. And the oh. third scenario it unfolds again and then it gets even bigger. So you start working with more and more space as you're playing along, but it's such a cool looking game. So you're exploring game. more of the tower? It is. Okay. It is. That's it's awesome. very cool. You're going through the different ones. Like, that's the bigger part. And then see, here's Act 1, where you have just the tiny board and all this little area here with your little guys to be on, you know? And or do, does the board that expands uh, have a dynamic element to it? Is it pretty static and the same every time that it adds on? Or no, it... it's, so it's completely different. Oh, so yeah. you can see the three boards right here. Here's the third huh. act, the second act, and the first act there in the back. One oh, person so is going to be very happy that we showcased this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one of them. It's probably gone already at this point. Uh, although I did notice that when I looked at the spreadsheet yesterday, and then I looked at it today, they added stuff. No, well, the ones that sold out, they took off the list. Oh, well, oh. that was so, nice. That so was if nice. it's here, it really is available. Okay. At least it. Well, I don't know how often they refresh it, but at least once. Yeah. A day. Yeah. So okay, that's cool. Check that one out. Uh, let's see. So that would suck otherwise. If you're like, wait, I wanted that. I wanted that one. I'm surprised that they have like Ooh, newer Enigma. games on here. Oh, Enigma. that's one of my favorites. I love Enigma. Oh my, I got it right down there. Oh. Wait, how much is it? Twenty dollars. Twenty. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's Amazing. a really cool puzzle. That little, yeah. yeah. That one's kind of like uh, a brain puzzle meets Carcassonne. Oh really? Yes. I'm yeah. down, totally. I'm down with totally. That. Totally. I'm down with that's that. exactly. That's the perfect way to describe this game. It is a very puzzly game. There's like math puzzles, spatial puzzles, um, and then yes, it's like Carcassonne where you're putting like these little. Uh, these little, you're connecting things and you're placing almost kind of like meeple type of things on it, like Carcassonne. And you're trying to get area control on different things. But you gotta arrange these to create like the pattern, like a top down <laughs> view yeah, of right. like a card. That's awesome. And, and oh my god. Yeah. Enigma's really fun. It's one of my dad's favorites. It has, like, it has like Tanagram somewhere in here too, doesn't it? It does. There they are. Remember playing with these as a kid, guys? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so yeah. you can see all the different puzzles on the side of the box. Yeah. Here, yeah, so. it shows you all the... And one of them's like balancing equations. I don't know if that sounds yeah. fun, but... Yeah, but there's, <laughs> like, there's like one mathematical, <laughs> there's two spatial types, yeah. and there's... Which is nice, because if you're more like... Your brain works one more one way than the other, then you eventually a puzzle will come around that you can handle. You, you know have a right? puzzle for everyone. But then, yeah, then it has these big, giant tiles that you're like linking together, sort of almost carcass so and stuff. So, click them up. Where? The expansion is nine bucks. Oh, nice! Right? Stelling if you guys have game. never played Flick 'em Up, like that, oh. that game is this huge wooden game with like giant wooden pieces and everything. And Box I mean, fart. nine bucks for Stallion Canyon is not bad at all because that you're gonna get like a lot of pieces bucks. in there. Yeah, you're gonna get. I mean, they're all huge, heavy wooden components and stuff like that. Huh. Like, I mean. I don't know if you yeah. guys have played Flick Mob, have you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a western themed so game. Yeah, it's a dexterity game. flicking game. Yeah, it's a dexterity flicking game. So in order to shoot somebody across the way, you have to like flick your little disc at them and knock them over and this stuff. This Thanksgiving, oh, you can shoot so your family cute. without going to jail. So there cute, you go. yes. <laughs> yeah, no, Flick Em Up flick em up is fun. Oh, uh, absolutely. If you have that, nine bucks for the expansion. Nine that's, bucks, yeah. That's a really good... Uh, going, going, gone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Alex, this is one I think oh, you have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played this. this. I don't even know. I forget. How, I always oh, pronounce it wrong. Genties. Yeah. Genties. 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 Uh, Another TMG game. Yeah. So I'll admit, I haven't got the chance to play it, but I have read the rules. <laughs> and the rules sound like the game is solid. I, I've, so I've gone sad. to Alex's house on no less than two occasions, and he's had the whole thing set up, sitting there with the rules, and we still oh, have never played no, it. no, for Aww. real. I just sit at the table, just waiting for <laughs> And you just you stare longingly at it. You're like, oh. Pull up the components on this one, because this one is a cool looking game, too. It is a very cool looking I yeah. played it. I think I played it just once somewhere. Someone taught it to me at a con. And, I think it's uh, another tasty minstrel. One. It is. It's TMG mm -hmm. as well. 
Uh, 2017. I thought this was brand brand new too. Uh, they it came out before TMG picked it up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we'll probably see. Probably want to get like the most recent images of these. I feel like I've played this before. And there's like a deluxe version as well. <laughs> right. That was like on Kickstarter and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is another like crunchy euro if you're in the market for that kind of a game. Just so many different oh, ways to score. Yeah. This is a cool one. I've never played this. It looks like fun, like... Well, if you like a very nice game that looks great on the shelf, it's a great <laughs> one to add to your uh, shelf yeah. of shame. I can, I can go. vouch for that The personally. box art looks fantastic. A little less shame right because there, you got right? it on sale. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not into big, like, miniatures games, yeah. but this one was $90, and yeah. it's at 25 bucks now. Wow. If you like those That's little Amerithrash yeah. Uh, yeah. miniature games... Mm -hmm. I haven't played any of these Where you're, like, running games. through the dungeon, shooting a bunch of stuff and everything, or ghosts in this case but and I absolutely played, yeah i never played the original but i heard the second one was better but oh, mm -hmm. i haven't I heard played either okay but hey i mean 25 bucks but for 25 that. bucks is huge especially when you're getting all those minis going going that, gone you know? is that uh a oh, speed no game. way is it six bucks they can't still have this in stock do they oh <gasps> god wow. this is one of my favorite so this is this is from scott nicholson yeah it's like right back here who was like <laughs> the youtuber that did reviews of games before, before tom, tom Bass, so yeah yeah Ooh. He's like the OG board game reviewer, and he designed this game. And now he literally teaches college-level courses on game design. And yep. that's that's oh, what he's that's doing so cool. now. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, this yeah. is Great. his design. This is so fun. It's a, yeah, the real-time option fast, game. Super fast, real-time But you're actually game. also trying to set collect. Yeah. And there's two different types of sets, yeah. either countries or, like, painting types. <laughs> there's this big, like, cardboard, like... Like gavel mallet thing. or gavel thing oh. that you hold, and when time's up, you slap it down like it's over. <laughs> so your hands so out. It's, it's, it's really done. cool because you have these cubes, and you're putting them in these clear cups. And next to the cup are the yeah. cards that you'll win. Yes. So someone counts. One person counts down at any speed they want, but it has, it has to be the to same. Be consistent. And yeah, they yeah. count down, and people are dropping cubes in these things. And I guess at the end, everyone's going like ferociously. It's so fun. So then you end up checking the cups, and it's like. Oh, I spent twenty on something where only other the, the, the next highest bid was like four. Right, but wow. because it was real time, okay. I didn't realize that it's, other people weren't going on that one. Going yeah, it like that. Okay. this is a really cool little it's game. It's super fun. I can't believe it's that it's still in print. But I didn't know. Yeah, I would have guessed it. That's was a long. That's a gem of a fine. Six How many bucks copies? for that? Do they say it's many a twenty twenty oh. at least. That's six that's, bucks. That's, that's a great one to play. That's a no. Buy two copies because that little slapper thing will break. Yeah, <laughs> it'll shatter on the wrists of your family members it will. as you play it. Uh, but so yeah, I'm sure I've I know I reviewed that game back in the day. I've reviewed this one too. I've heard of this Haliakala. one. This is a good nine fifty sort of two player tactical game that looks really cool. Okay, okay. Uh, so it's, and it came out with Z Man. It's 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 again very tactical two player game. If you look for something like that, this is a good one for ten bucks. I've reviewed this one too. So Haliakala, you could check out my review on that one. Hmm. Uh, let's oops. Oh. We're going quick. We're going very fast. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We just did that one. Let's scroll down. Let's see what we're looking at here. HMS Dolores. Isn't that an Eric Lane game? That is. Yes. And Bruta of Duty, I think. Oh, I right, think they right, both right. did that. Actually, yeah. It's this really small... I don't think sort of bluff, I think it was like a, it was a bluffing yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember, remember liking it. it, but it's been a minute since we played Me it. Me too. Nine fifty though. Jeez. Yeah, that was a little. Well, Eric bluffing Lane. Set, set collection bluffing game, if I remember. Yeah. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Get a new page. Ooh, Jiraku. Oh, wait, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep, yep. One oh. of my favorite trick taking Absolutely. games. Absolutely. I think you taught me this one. Jiraku. Eleven bucks. <laughs> oh, this is the TMG version, which is like the small box version. Yeah, smaller box. For a yeah. while, you couldn't get this anywhere, and they brought out the smaller box, much more affordable. Eleven dollars. This game is what? Yeah, you you take. It's trick taking area control, yep. right? So as you're trying to win the tricks, but every card you play still helps you with like action points basically that you get to use to allocate on the board and the game the values of the different locations shift as the game goes so you're always like sort of migrating to the other side of the board and trying to do that more efficiently and time that all out yeah so you can see that like the points are are really big Oop, the points are really big on like ones on like round one here but then by the end there's like they were worth nothing in this section yeah so you're all trying to migrate to the other side by the end of the game yeah it's awesome but just you don't want to migrate too fast like you have to pace it just right and, <laughs> and try to eke out as many points as you can along the way it's a really cool little trick taking game yeah it's it's fantastic it's one of my favorites it's like two of my favorite genres blended together and <laughs> yep. this little package that you can take anywhere huh. yep uh, I have not played this but I've heard good things about this it this is, is Stefan Feld yeah 
I think twenty five bucks. Reimplementation of uh, Speaker Stout, which was a game he did uh, several years ago, mm. and I've heard good things about this one, but I haven't played this one either. Yeah, I haven't played it either. The only thing that I recall about this game, though, is that when it was premiered at BGG Con or when they. Uh, released the game, uh, it flew off the shelves. It was just yeah, yeah, yeah. People loved it, so uh, I would imagine it's a good game. There's if a lot of fell files out there mm -hmm. for good uh, reason. Junk Orbit. I did a rule school for this one. It's like this those is, cylindrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, pick up and deliver game where you, when you you shoot stuff off in one direction and it pushes you in the other direction. You're trying oh, to work your way around different oh, planets cool. and pick up delivered. It's a. I love that. It's a unique concept. I've done a rules video for it, so if you buy this one, you don't have to. <laughs> the problem, hey, yeah, there, there, the rules. There you go. There, there you go. go. <laughs> there you go. All right. He's just trying to get a few more views. Yeah. No, so if you don't want to read the rules, that, that, that was a that's cool kind of cool though that it implements like the physics of space. I really like. That as well, is yeah. Grab well reminds me of that. Greg, was this the Jurassic Park game that you played, or no? Is this a different? Uh, yeah, this yeah, is pretty good this, right? actually. Better than you'd expect for like yeah. a mass market game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can play like the different characters. You can be like Newman. I can't remember his name is in Jurassic <laughs> Park, but. <laughs> but yeah, this one's pretty cool. Better than you expect. It has cool little like wooden dinosaur meeples that are stickered, yeah. so you can be like a little T Rex stomping around the park and stuff. Twenty bucks. You got to run around and turn the power off, and I mean it really simulates the game pretty well. We reviewed that one on Hooked on Geek, oh, well, probably 50, 60 episodes ago. Okay, I gotta bring this one up. I, this is one of the ones I saw earlier. Three <laughs> bucks for Nitwit. Now, I'm gonna, this is Matt. This is a Matt Leacock party game, and I'll be honest, it wasn't the best party game I ever played. This but I rated it a seven. Like it was good. This it was Matt Leacock going. Codenames is a big hit. I'm gonna make my party game. <laughs> and it wasn't bad. Like like you put. Yeah, the, it was. It has like very these cool components. It has these. Yeah, like let me bring these components up. for three bucks. I, I want to bring this up because this is kind of like a. Even if you just like knitting, you could use right. the components to decorate your knitting space. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It was a cool like word based party game where you're you're taking like yarn like string and you're stringing together like multiple oh, words. Oh, okay. I remember seeing And this. like so the, so you're putting the string around it was it yeah. was a clever concept. I enjoyed it. Um I, I think I, I rated it like a seven. -ish. I was actually surprised that it didn't do better than yeah. it did. Because I did think it was very innovative. Well, then, would you say it's like more gateway gameish, where you could just you yes. know throw it out there and play yes. it with anybody? Yeah, else? I mean, it's not it's not heavy because mm -hmm. it's got a lot of interesting stuff going on with it that yeah. would bring people to a table. You know, I'm surprised. I mean, three bucks. Just, yeah, uh, the components. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that was that one's good. Okay, Cronia for four fifty. This is a very good light, quick auction game where everyone has the same cards, and as you use a card to bid on something, it's gone. So you, it's kind of like you're trying to figure out what people have played, kind of like Meow when we played it okay, last weekend. Okay, or Balk. Yeah, yeah, or Balk. Yeah. Uh, but this one has certain set collection that you're also trying to do as well. But like for a quick auction set collection game that has some like open information where you're trying to remember what people have played. This is 450? 450. 450. 450. This came out by, by <laughs> they were Simon back then. This is a really good auction game. And I have a question. I heard a rumor that they actually modeled the cover guy after you. <laughs> That you had to like pose. I don't know if that's true. I just heard. No, that guy's got a beard. It can't, it can't oh no! Be yeah. Just the it was just the oh my gosh. They were going for. Okay, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let these two talk. Three bucks for this. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, I haven't played oh this in forever. God. Let them eat cake. This is a like a hidden. Well, it's not really a hidden role, but it's like a social deduction game. Negotiation. Negotiation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's Three the bucks. it's it's the French. You know, they're like, it's the guillotine. You're trying to stay out you're of the guillotine. Right. And you're constantly, like, haggling with each other and trying to, like, stay alive. It's been a while since I played this one, but oh, that's awesome. this is kind of a hidden this, gem. This was fun. And is this only, the whole game? Or yeah, is this, like, some expansion? No, it's the whole game. Is only, there's only got 14 of them in stock, though. There's my reviews. I reviewed it. You can check that out. I oh, like wow. the fact the cake's on the other side of the guillotine there. That's uh -huh. yeah, excellent. Yeah. Cover art yeah. piece. <laughs> yeah, that was that one was fun. This must be a different edition. I think I, my, my box looks uh, a Yes, different. I have played that one. Um, you didn't end up with that one. I, I did not. No, I think uh, I did. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it at your place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I played it, but I like that. One. I like that one a lot. Uh, let's see. It's kind of a hidden gem. All right. Oh, there's so many. We could spend two hours on this. Uh, yeah. Well, I Montana. Oh my gosh. Here, Montana. Yeah. Euro with a spinner. Mm -hmm. Yep. Montana. I love this one. It's up there. Yeah, it's uh, a cool game. <clears throat> Four in stock. That's it. This is a great, quick sort of worker placement yeah. game. Mm -hmm. Thirty to forty-five minute yep. Euro game. Yep. With a little luck, but yeah, I've reviewed this one. You can see, there's my reviews there. So this this is a good one if you like uh, worker placement games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Montana. Oh, we're going into Munchkin Land. Oh man! Oh, oh man. 
look at all those prices, Steve guys. Jackson in it up. They're all like yeah, fifty three bucks, plus, four seventy, bucks, five eighty percent bucks. off. Get all huh. the things. Get all the Munchkin things. You need, yeah, you need all the things. <laughs> you need all the things. Well, it's, we not gonna cost, anything? it's not going to cost you much. Well, yeah, I mean, if you can pick up, like, you know, Double Dungeons is new. Which was that? Their uh, Double Dungeons pack there. They just went ahead and redid Double Dungeons there, where they have more stuff crammed into that box. So, like, that's brand new, like... And then, of course, you know, you need your kilometers for all of your games and everything. And that's a great time to pick them up because if everybody wants a kilometer, which everybody does once you break them out, then you just spend $4 on each one and get everybody one. Okay? I'm just picturing a unit of measurement. Like, what a, a kilometer. I got a kilometer? A, on, I got a mile in here and a yard somewhere as well. All right. Ninja, ninja all stuff. Okay, let's get down about here. Oh. This is a very good two-player game. Oh, we played this one. A good balance between luck and strategy. Um, yeah, I remember playing this one. This is a great little two-player tactical game where you're trying to get your ninjas to the other the other end. Has a little bit of sort of rocks, paper, scissors, but you're not doing it. You're like setting your people up because one of yours can beat one of theirs, but one of theirs yeah. can beat that. Okay. It's a really good two-player. One of those little small box yellow games. It's right back there. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, yeah, it's right there. It's really good. Uh, I really like this one a lot. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for quick 15 minute two player tattoo game that has good balance of luck and strategy this one's a no brainer for $7.50 that's a great deal right. let's see what else keep scrolling let's see what do we got yeah. what do we got what do we got right, me, we'll never get to the end if we well don't. we're in the peas we're getting there <laughs> I haven't played no. Planet of the Apes Pictomania oh that's for nine right? bucks yeah. Aww. And I don't like drawing games, but <laughs> typically, because I'm yeah. a terrible drawer. But this is one <laughs> where it, it actually works, and it works really well, and there's some strategy to it as well. So. And they did like a new, this is like the new version. Yeah, right? this is the Stronghold Seems version. Seems like they like reworked it. Nine, after like the yes. First. It's, they streamlined it. Yeah. They made it better. They made it like okay, a little good, less fiddly. Good. Yes. This is a real, and I don't even like drawing games, and I like this one. Nine bucks for that. That's a, that's a smoking deal. That's another like family party game you can play with anybody. Yep. Is this the Pioneers that I was thinking of? I don't know. No, I haven't played that one. one. Queen, though. Yeah, that's a Queen, Queen game. Queen one, tends yeah. to do pretty solid stuff at good prices. Let's see. <laughs> I've heard of fucking pairs. I okay, I got it up here. This is a really old, it looks like it's in the 80s. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> it's a party game. It's a party game where they have all these random images. Okay. And you're trying to link two of the images together. And if you link with other people, you score points. Okay. So you're trying to like, think like everybody else. Yes. Hmm. It's a fun You know, R&R &R is kind of an underrated company. They, they do really a lot are. of like kind of under the radar stuff that's actually really good. I feel mm -hmm. like they don't get the like press or whatever that as they deserve. As much as they deserve on those. Yeah, yeah. But they do a lot of cool stuff. 2012 this game. Okay. Out. That is pretty old by board game standards. Yeah, so... You'll have the, like there'll be this, these random images, and you have to pick sets of two. So as the, they might be obvious at first, but then as you get towards the end, you're like, oh, how, which one should I go for? Okay. Or maybe there's more that than one fun. obvious set, and you're linking those together. Um, so like, okay, what does the butterfly go to? Well, it could go to this because it's well, it it might flies, be wood like or flies. Oh. So, so like, oh yeah, you will be terrible. Gotcha. This. <laughs> so you might link two things together that, that 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 I don't like. Like you might put the bus stop with the train, right? They're both red. Or, but you might put the bus or the train with the briefcase because you see people like with yes. that, right? So, it's I don't know. This this is a fun one. It reminds me of compatibility, which is a cool little like '90s board game that still is fun to play, where you're just trying to think like other people. So for a lighter party game, that one's that one's fun. I think you passed up Prosperity, which is a Kinesia game. Oh yeah, I, I had that one. That's kind of an underrated Kinesia game. Though. Ten bucks for Prosperity. Oh, yeah. yeah, this one's crunchy. Yeah, this one has like the Tech Tree tracks that you're yeah. working up. Yeah, yeah. for ten bucks, ten. that's a, a smoking deal. Futuristic Tech Tree. I think it's Kinesia, right? Uh, the, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's that's a smoking deal. Uh, let's yeah, right, Kinesia. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's put this. <laughs> wow, so they have Ravnet Inquisition for nine dollars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go into that? <laughs> There's gonna be. Some, that's a game. That's a game. It is a game. Uh, it kind of is. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's technically a game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this bright colt for the Rosenberg diehards. Yeah. Is that uh, Stronghold? I can't remember. No, that was uh, Renegade. Oh, Renegade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, worker placement. Yeah, like a set collection mm -hmm. kind of a thing. And you're trying to kind of build up every round. You have to do better than the last round. 
So the game kind of ratchets up as it goes. Royals! 27 bucks for oh. Royals. Who's going to sing the Lord song for us? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good deal. Three, oh, there's only three left. Jump on that one. That was yeah. a great one. 27 bucks for Royals. That is one of yeah. the best sort of dry Euros out there. <laughs> yeah. But it's cutthroat, it's, too. It's mean. It's, it's, yeah, yeah it's, you're dethroning other people. It's, it's kind of like Ticket to Ride of Sewage because the way you draw the yeah, cards is like exactly Ticket to Ride style and yeah. you're spending them to go it's, different places. Yeah, I would never play vanilla Ticket to Ride if Royals is available. Because yeah. Yeah. it's the same <laughs> sort of mechanics. But this is just like takes it up a notch. It's a little more aggressive, which I like. Yeah, lots and, of different uh, strategies with the set yeah. collection and, and the cool components too. It's got the puzzle piece pu components. So if you like split, you actually break the piece in half, and each get half of it, and it shows mm -hmm. you your points. All right, let's see. That's <laughs> this is a great stream. Let's watch people mm -hmm. read. Watch mm -hmm. people read the stream. <laughs> okay. Space sheep, oh no. A lot of people hate this game. I love this game. This is like a super crunchy... It's better than I expected. It's a, log sure. it's a very... It's a cooperative logic and deduction game, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Where you're trying to cooperatively finish a puzzle, and it's super hard, but it's awesome. I love it. Almost everybody I play with it's did not so like outside, it. It's so <laughs> but, outside the box. But, but if you like logic and deduction and puzzly okay. games for five bucks, it's worth the try. That is not the type of game I would expect from Space Sheep. Use the four. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> logic and deduction. What? Can I can I say the five bucks might be a little overpriced for this game? <laughs> oh, yeah, but Greg, but Greg, but Greg, but Greg doesn't like deduction games. No, it was it was it was it was like different. One I'd like. It was like a unique experience for sure. <laughs> Okay. And it was something where I was like, okay, I'll, that was interesting. But, uh, yeah, it's not... It, wow, 2013, I forgot. I was yeah, this is, a, this is a while. Yeah, I mean, you can see from the 5.2 ranking. It's not beloved. But for people who do enjoy that sort of deduction puzzle... Logic puzzles yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're basically trying to move these different pieces, which are different types of animals, but different shapes. And you got to move them in certain directions, but there's cards that allow you to move in different directions, and you're trying to get them in the right spot. So it's like maneuvering them together cooperatively. Okay. Uh, but there's like logic rules that you have to follow. Yeah, I, I I always like that one. But <laughs> did you hang on? To, you got your copy? I did not. You don't. But well, now you can get it for five bucks. And because I go. couldn't get anyone to play it with. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that one. <laughs> oh, Spike! Spike is good. Oh yeah. You, you mentioned pick pick uh, pick up and deliver yeah. earlier, and we mentioned um, R and R as well. This is another underrated R and R game, and it is like a pick up and deliver game. And it's like a train game where you can like upgrade your train so they go faster, hold more stuff. It's been a little while since I played you it. You said it was kind of like Crayon Rails? Yeah, it's kind of like Empire Builder, like those Crayon Rails games, but like stripped down and faster and, and easier to play. There's so, another R&R. &R. There's one of their strategies. That's what I was saying, yeah. It's another one of those R&R &R games and kind of an underrated gem. Yep. Starship, Starship Sam or... Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Speaking, of, bucks. speaking of underrated gems, like this game did not take off like I expected it yeah, to. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a really cool area control game. Yes. But it also has those tracks that you're trying to manipulate. Yeah. So it's not just fighting. Right. You know, right. There's more to yeah, it. Because I'm not big on the fighting games, but this one yeah. I really liked. I mean, you liked it too. Oh, right? yeah. I, I think you even made some 3D printed stuff to help keep track of the colors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, lots of potential there. It's this, this game, I'm also really a big fan of minis, and I just love the Transformery Samurai style kind <laughs> yeah. of look that they that have. They had with it's those. like Voltron or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you play that one? I did play that one. Yeah, the I did like the manipula manipulation of the tracks the most in that part because even if you're winning battles, like you're tr you're also trying to do something over here, yeah. so you don't have to get all of your points from those battles, you know. Yeah, I like. Yeah, that there's one multiple too. ways to victory. Right, in this. right. Mm -hmm. And you do tend to focus on the fighting, and then meanwhile there's someone who figures out, oh, I just need to manipulate these tracks. Right. And then they pull out like quietly with the wind, and you're like, oh, and you're wow. like, what the heck? I gotta play this again. I gotta play this again. <laughs> The boldest is cool. Have you guys played that one? Have you played that one, Dan? Which one? The boldest. I have not. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a futuristic. Um, it's almost like a programming game where you're trying oh, to really? figure out what other people are going to go oh. for. Uh, it's kind of in this like dystopic future. Really, really cool card art and stuff on this one too. Um, the I guess the cover looks kind of gray and green, but if you look at the the card art, it's cool. And you're all just like chopping through a forest and encountering robots and stuff. I mean, that's the theming, but it's actually this very simple to play game. I think it's Stronghold. Yeah, yeah, Stronghold game. It was an $80 game. It must have had crazy components. It has really cool art. Yeah. And it's for sale for 42 bucks. 80 seems expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but 42 is great. I mean, that's sure. a good price <laughs> for that one. Is this? Corleone Empire. Yep. 
This, this one was great. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Forty bucks. This is Eric Wang's big release a few years ago. For yeah. Forty bucks. This is a. This was good. We're gonna play yeah. game. Yeah. This it's fun really to good. throw your your friends into the the <laughs> lake. <laughs> <laughs> throw them into the river. Swimming with the fishes. Yeah. Pour right. cement in their <laughs> shoes. Yeah, this it's is just a- satisfying. Like, sorry, Alex, you're sleeping with the fishes. Yeah, it's definitely a holiday game. But, <laughs> yes, right. It brings the family <laughs> together. Yeah, this was a good work and placement game for sure. <laughs> Can you pass the horse head? I mean, the turkey? <laughs> the horse head. Wasn't the horse head like the, the first player mark or something? Like something. That I think it's in there. Uh, let's see. Lots of Walking Dead stuff. Mm-hmm. Timeline challenge. Okay, here's a hidden movement game that I didn't absolutely love, but for nine bucks. Oh my god! one player plays the like the Osprey submarines. Games. I, love Osprey I think games. you played this one with. Me. I did play this one. And you're putting like radars out on the board. Yeah. And you're trying to figure out where each other are. Um, and it was very well. It was like such a passion project too. Yes. Like the designer was like actually like served on a sub or something. Yes. If I remember oh, right. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the game is supposed to kind of reflect his experience. Yeah. So it's got a lot of like if you're into like historical super themes, thematic. Yeah. Yeah. This is a like this is a cool one for that. So if you like for hidden hidden movement games and you bucks. want thematic ones for ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, this is like a giant box. Wow. It's a huge so, box. That yeah. that is if you like hidden movement, you should at least try that one because it has some interesting concepts in it for sure. Tumult Royale. Oh, that one? oh man, this is one of my favorites. I have it right Super down here. Super underrated. Super underrated. They, from Klaus to- uh, Toyber, the one that yep. did Settlers so of Catan. He did it with his son Benjamin. Yeah. Hmm. This game is really cool. Explain it's that got, one. So you've played it. I swear you've played yes, this one with it's us been too. It's a long time. So it, this one's real cool. time it's, element. It's got well. a real time where you're trying to get resources to build things, but at the end of the round, whoever has one of the goods will have like a, they'll have a tumult about. There'll be a shortage. Right. And whoever took the most of those gets penalized if they put a bunch back. Yeah. But you're using that to build resources on a, on a board for area control for points. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so the idea is like you're all royalty and you're trying to keep the peasants from like getting pissed <laughs> off. So if you take too much stuff, then you get screwed for the round. Yeah. Oh, and it's like that real time element. Yeah. So you don't, you're like moving quickly and you realize, oh crap, I took you're way too many. Do With one hand, resources. you're flipping up a tile yeah. one okay. at a time and either taking it or putting it back. Yeah. And you're trying to like think about. I need three of these and two of these to build this. Yeah. Okay, I've got that already. Now what else do I need? And you're like going crazy, but it's like in a, in a minute. Yeah. And it's like a bunch and of. And you're building like statues that are like uh, to of yourself. Of yourself. Yeah. And whoever builds. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever like best like 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 showers the land with their own image oh, wins. Like the royals do. Yes, it's, it's very much like a middle finger to royals. <laughs> royals of the past. Yeah. This this one was a ton of fun. Um. So that's for ten bucks. Tumult Royale. Yes, the guy who yeah, the Sons of Catan. So, oh, Ulm, Ulm, underrated Euro as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that one. Very interesting, like action selection mechanic where there's like a grid and you're pushing it on and whatever gets knocked off. I mean, it's been a while since I played it, but it's a cool one. Yeah, and there's only eight in stock. So yeah, that's a good sort of if you like Euros, that's yeah. a good price on that one. Another R and R game, underrated R and R. Mm-hmm. We're getting towards the lower letters. Get some werewolf Let me get these stuff to the in top. here. Viceroy, I love that one. Oh yeah, let's bring that one up. We were just talking about that the other day. Yeah. Why don't you talk about this one? Um, it's, Eighteen bucks. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it's your building. You know, there's a bunch of cards. You're building like a pyramid of cards, uh, and then the, the cards have like colors in the corners. So you're trying to get them to line up to create like a circle of color with all the corners meeting. And it's a huge point salad. There's got to be like 12 different ways to score. Oh, okay. And so you're just trying to build this giant pyramid. Uh, it's been a little while since I played it, but um, yeah. So that shows you. And it's cool art, too. Oh. You know, it's all these characters. And you're, and so you can see, like, if you can line things up right, you can create the colors that are all the same circle, and you get bonuses. Um, I, it, like I said, it's been a while since I played it, but I, I, I this is a good one. Yeah, it had an interesting great. auction mechanism, too. From yes. Oh, yeah. So this that's right. It has, like, gem, like, colored gems. And you can discuss, like, hey, I'm going to go for this card. Why don't you go for that? I mean, you're not, you're competing. It's not cooperative. Right. But then you reveal, and you might be completely lying about what you went for. Or maybe you actually are able to, like, pull off a deal and get mm. people to kind of work with you. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of an interesting sort of little social experiment slash giant point salad. Yeah, I mean, tons of ways to score. 11 bucks for Mystery uh, Blackwood oh. Grove. This is one of those interesting sort of art interpretation yeah. and sort of... This uh, is deduction. Deduction, hey, yeah. 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 It's E.T. If, e. if I recall, game. it was like a Dixit almost in a way, right? Where you're trying to associate... There's yeah, like a rule rules. you're trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, okay. so that, yeah, so you'll say whether it goes through a force field or right. not. 
and then everyone else is trying to figure out what that rule is. So the rule might be like an object smaller than your fist or something. Right. And right. so like you'll try something and you're like, why didn't that go through? And you're trying to kind of deduce, you know, what the alien force field will let in versus not. And then you can also play as like the government agencies trying to nab the alien. So it's like ET in that way. Oh, that's right. I remember that. That was yeah. Fun. This game was this. This was a very. You could be like the game. NSA and you're trying to like grab him <laughs> for your own purposes, or you could be like the little kid on the bike who's like, I'm gonna save you. Help you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This one's this one's a cool, it's definitely a cool, a cool concept. And what eleven? Eleven I think it bucks. It was like a Target game or something at one point. Yeah, do you recall? Oh no, yeah, it did go on Target. Target. There's, yeah. eight, there's only eighteen left, and they're eleven bucks each. Ooh, four fifty for a game that we all like here, or at least some of us. <laughs> this was a. Uh, I remember liking it. Yes, it's a Bruno Fiduti game, from what I remember. Yeah. Um, this is one of those. It's a bluffing game. Where okay. you're putting the different spirits. You're now. putting the different spirits down, and you're you're saying what spirit you put down. But you're okay. trying to bluff people. Uh, wa- uh, was it Wonka Taka? Wonka Taka. I think yeah. I just played that one night with you here. Yeah, this was a fun bluffing game. Uh, if you look for a short, a short, quick bluffing game, this is a fun one. And BG, it's gonna mm-hmm. show. Not gonna pull okay. Up so yeah, for you're four not fi- allowed to look at it. For Don't four, look. for four fifty, if you want like a fun little bluffing game, that's a good one. If you want to see inside the box, it'll cost you four fifty. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Put up or shut up. <laughs> oh, whistle stop. Whistle and wagers too. What is that? And whistle. Oh yeah. 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 Whistle stop. Whistle there, stop yeah. was one of my favorites from it's a cool game. last mm-hmm. year. On sale for thirty one bucks. It's great. I don't typically like pick up and deliver games, but yeah. this one is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so you're like building the map as you go, which is kind of cool yeah. and satisfying. And, and you're also trying to get majorities for stocks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a really good game. Whistle mm-hmm. Stop. Uh, 31 bucks for that one. Oh, Wits and Wagers. Vegas? Vegas. Is that, is isn't that, that the, the new one? Yeah, this is, br- this is pretty much brand new, I think. Or is this the actual big Vegas expansion? This looks like the big Matt one. I think oh my so. gosh, it yeah. is. Oh my gosh! If you want, if you play Wits and Wagers and you play it with big groups, you gotta get this. Mm-hmm. This is this is a big. It looks like it's the big rollout like play mat, which is huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, what th- is it this was very limited edition too. Uh, so you can bet. So the new version also does this, where you can bet on red or black right. as oh. opposed to just the other ones. But yeah. this one also has, if you think you know who knows the answer before people reveal their answers, just by knowing the question. You can bet on them; it's ten to one odds. Oh, so I can be like, oh, Greg, okay. Greg will be like, oh, it's a sports question. I know yeah, Dan's yeah. gonna know it. I'm gonna yeah. bet on him. I don't even know what his answer is. <laughs> yeah. I'm just betting on him. <laughs> and if it's a ten, <gasps> so it's, now they cut that out of the Target version. That's in the Woods Wager Vegas now. Mm-hmm. Target had them cut that out because they thought it was just a little too much files. gamier for 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 a mass market. Hmm. Uh, but for this version, and this is a big play mat, twenty seven bucks. This is. Awesome, because for one it's huge. I have it in my my closet over there. Yeah, I haven't played this version yet. That sounds fun. That's a really good... People always love the table presence of that map with that game, and then it's so easy to have people put their tokens there and explain things. Oh, someone said they had Concordia for 36 bucks. We missed that one. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That's an excellent game. Okay, (laughs) Concordia for 36 bucks. So, uh, let's see. We're getting towards the bottom here, and I think this is pretty much it. Zombie side. Okay. I think side. We've been going for a bunch of magic. Oh my gosh, we've been going for fifty minutes already. Yeah. And then they go into Big all the list. all the CCGs. Big list. My little So yeah. um, before you go, there's an announcement. Oh. Um, some people asked, do you know I saw one one of the questions was, Did you do you know which games are going on sale Thursday? So all the games that we saw now, this is the Black Friday sale, uh, but all these are for sale now. Like they started their Black Friday sale early. Yeah. However, uh, on Thanksgiving they're doing what they call uh, map amnesty. So there's, like Asmodee and other companies sometimes put a minimum advertised oh, price right, policy right, right, where yeah. they can't advertise games for yeah. less than certain amounts. I remember that rolled out a few years ago. So on Thanksgiving Day, as we're showing here, their round three of Black Friday sales going to open up, and it's the it's like the one time that Asmodee is allowing them to drop the prices in advertising. Oh. Mm-hmm. So on Thanksgiving wow. Day, jump back on the cool st- uh, to, to <laughs> the market, market yeah, yeah. Uh, and get uh, Asmodee stuff. For lower than minimum minimum advertised and prices. And Asmodee is a lot of stuff. Right. It's a big <laughs> umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like Space Cowboys, and there's a whole bunch of companies. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's so, going to yeah. be awesome. So jump back on. So if I were you, <laughs> 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 the ones that were that were low stock, or I mean, even the ones that had yeah. 20 in yeah. stock, I don't know how many people will buy them after watching this, but you might want to do one order now and then maybe do another order 
After, that's my day. Here, here's well, the upside. We'll be done with your Christmas shopping by the end of the weekend. It's great. <laughs> we ran across so many games that were like in that five, ten dollar yeah. range that it's like those are going to sell out really quick too yeah. because people are going to add those onto their stuff. Oh, I needed this and I needed that, right. and you get three or four of those as they go along. So yeah, I would get them now. Holy cow! Yeah. Like. I'm not waiting. <laughs> for sure. And also, um, I'm curious, does their holding uh, feature that they have for orders where you can hold and add to your order later also... Oh, that's, be a good good uh, that's a good question. Uh, Maybe we'll have them uh, answer in the comments. But that's uh, one of my like selling points for, yes. for Miniature yeah. Market yeah, 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 is the yeah. ability that I can put something on hold, hold. make another order later, and then ship and then it all together and save. And combine it all. Yeah. yeah. That, I would imagine yes, but uh, we can check with them and see if they'll, mm-hmm. they'll reply in the comments. So if you guys have enjoyed this, let us know in the comments if you want to see us do more of these because Black Friday is their biggest sale of the year but they also do lots of big sales throughout the year like certain holiday points where they yeah. do a spreadsheet like this yeah. if this is something you'd want us to do in the future let us know because this was just a weird idea I had yesterday and just wandered around with it uh, so let us know but anyways um, tell everybody where they can find you uh, Hooked on Geek uh, audio podcast on Monday you can follow us on Twitter Instagram and Facebook Gloryhound at gloryhound.com and we talk about Kickstarters every Friday at noon Mountain Standard Time, guys. And you get to see more of this <laughs> how do you, how do you on spell, that show. How do you spell Gloryhound? Oh, Gloryhound with two D's at the end, guys, okay? Because Gloryhound the band took the first one. <laughs> and it's double the fun. <laughs> and, and this is, uh, I don't typically do live streams and this is kind of thrown together at the last minute. She does the most marvelous live streams Aww. every Friday. Really Actually, cool. with Greg, <laughs> yeah. they, she covers a lot of Kickstarters every Friday on a live stream. So mm-hmm. check her channel out. And it's very interactive. We're reading the comments, talking with people, Super answering questions. Yeah. And oftentimes the publishers who are Kickstarting the games jump in the comments and answer, answer stuff questions. in real time. Yeah, so absolutely. that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alex? Uh, and uh, you can find me on Twitter, BL4CK <laughs> Contact. That's Black Contact. And you can uh, also find me kind of. Weirdly hanging around Dan's house. Uh, <laughs> late hours it's kind of creepy, actually. It's like 1 a.m. Like, why is Alex still here? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys again. Put in the comments.